Hey y'all, it's Amy and welcome to my channel. Thanks for joining me today. We are doing our first video in the May Kiss series, okay? We're doing the first video in the May Kiss series. And for those of you who do not know already, for May, the palette is the Elf Summer Breeze palette, okay? This is the Elf Summer Breeze palette. This is the palette that um, I picked for May. It was the second runner up to the Kathleen Lynch Dream Street palette, which we did in April. So this is an all matte palette, guys. So basically what I decided to do with this palette is I decided to use the Steela Glitter and Glows mini set that I got. Now, I did not know this before I decided to film these videos. The Stila Glitter and Glow mini set that has the three minis, that minis. It has rose, rose Gold Retro. Let me see if I can talk. Rose Gold Retro. Kitten Karma and Smoldering Satin. Smoldering Satin is the color I have in my eyes right now. Da, 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 da. And it is not available currently on Sephora's website. At least I could not find it, okay? So take heart, all three of those shades are still available in the regular size, but the regular size is $24 per shadow. Yeah, that's no bueno, but anyway, I did not know that before I filmed this video, but so you guys, if you wanna see how I created this look, then don't forget to subscribe and like and please keep watching okay guys we're going to jump right into this okay we are going to be doing our second kiss series this is for the month of may and we're going to be using as you saw in the intro the elf summer breeze palette this is an all matte palette this is the second edition of their matte for matte series it's called summer breeze it is their warm kind of sunset type style colors and all that jazz and basically this is the one that i picked to do our uh, tutorials with this month and I also picked the Stila Glitter and Glow set. Now guys I don't think that that little mini set is available on Sephora anymore I'm sorry but I am using those for the lid shades so we're going to use smoldering satin so let's just get right into this okay you guys Woo, it's been a week it's been a week so I've already primed, I've already done my brows, I've primed my eyes, I've done my moisturizer, I have my lip balm on. As always, I do my eyes first for those of you who are new to my channel. That's how we roll here on Dolly Mama Beauty. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take our ever popular e.l.f. crease brush. Ta-da! You guys are used to this brush by now. If you're not, welcome. This is my favorite brush of all time. And we're going get to right, get into this right now. So we're going to make this kind of a dramatic um, eye look, okay? so. Three shades, as always, we're gonna do a transition shade, a crease shade, and a lid shade. And so we're basically only using two shadows from this palette. We are gonna go uh, deep today. We're gonna to take this brown here on the end. Okay, so the first shade we're gonna start with, guys, is this brown one on the end. I know it looks dark, but let me just tell you something about this e.l.f. Mad for Matte palette. This particular one, and maybe even the first one, there are nice shadows, they're pigmented, but they're not so pigmented that you can't build them up. They're gonna be a nice wash of color when you first put them on, but you might have to build them up a little bit. I don't have a problem with that, so keep that in mind as we're doing this. So it might seem like, you know, you have to work extra hard, but you really, really don't. Because the nice thing about this series is remember, you steady as you go, you do it as little as you want or as much as you want meaning in your skill level so we're going to take that deep brown shade on the end load up our uh, um, elf crease brush tap it off and we're going to run that through our crease so you see you guys see what i'm talking about that is a brown shade again that is a nice soft brown it's the deepest brown in the palette but it's nice and soft so it's not going to be overwhelming as a transition shade as you might think it would be but seriously you just take it and we are going a little darker for the transition shade and I you can see I've dipped my brush three times now going into the crease blending up towards the brow okay because that's where you want your transition shade to go up above your crease so you're going to really kind of as they like to say in YouTube tutorials we're going to blow it out uh, whatever okay so we're doing one eye at a time okay so we built that nice little transition shade in now because that was our transition shade guess what that means we're gonna use the black okay this like the brown is pigmented but it's not really really deep so we're gonna just take that on our elf crease brush elf crease brush if you guys didn't see the video on these two brushes then I will link it um, but man, I love these two brushes. And I picked these two brushes specifically for this series because they're easy, easily accessible and they're affordable. Okay, 
So load up that brush with that black, tap that off. We're going to work in the outer corner. Look scary. Remember, don't put on much on if, if you're new to black because this is a nice black. It's a good black for beginners. Oh, sorry. It's a good black for beginners. I'm going to take that on into the lid a little bit, just on the outer corner. Yes, I'm being quite sloppy. Remember, I clean up my under eyes after. Now, don't worry about if you get it on the lid too much because you're going to cover it with your Stila glitter, okay? Now, that's a little messy. I know. Don't worry, okay? Don't worry. Don't panic. Take your e.l.f. crease brush again. Not e.l.f. Take your wet and wild crease brush again in that brown and just blend over the top of that black. Okay, so just blend over the top of that black. Guys, when you do the black, um, be a little more careful than I did. Make sure you just tap in lightly at first with that e.l.f. crease brush and, and hit it off because this one is a little bit more pigmented than I remember. So it actually, uh, it actually took through me for a loop a little bit. So just blend that again. Don't add any extra product. Okay, so there you have that. Now, okay, so now we're just going to do the lid shade. We're going to go with the Stila Glitter and Glow in the shade Smoldering Satin. Yes, this is an expensive product, okay? I got the set for $25 and it was three minis, but I do not see that on the Sephora site anymore, which uh, freaks me out because I told you guys that we were going to use these as much. So if you have it, great. If you don't, find something similar and that set will probably come back. So don't try not to freak out too much. I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to use things that aren't available, but it is available in a regular size. So it is still available. It's not... Um, it's not limited edition, so you can get it. This is Smoldering Satin. And so with these, I just take the wand, pull it out. It's a flat wand, okay? And I just press this on my eyelid. Less is more with these. Do not, do not uh, sweep these. Pat them into the eye. Pat them. Keeping it low. Don't go too close to the crease, because these will transfer if you do, if you if you don't let them dry. So if you put them too high in the crease, what's going to happen is you're going to get transfer up into your crease. So pat, but put one little layer on and stop right there. That is it, okay? So let's take one look and, and, and see, because you don't really want to blend through the crease when you use these. I'm going to be really frank with you. Once you've done them, do not do any more blending. Make sure everything is nicely blended before you put these on because let me tell you something they will go everywhere because they are glitter you will experience some fallout with these so be careful do not do not sweep them okay i'm debating doing this all over again be very gentle with that elf crease brush i don't recommend doing what i just did do not do that <laughs> if you're gonna all help it okay so that my friends is one eye. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup. We're going to do the lower lash line as per usual and then we will completely finish this look out. This is turning into a bit of a hot mess. Oops. Uh, I took it to another level but remember two shadows and the and the gl glitter and glow on the lid. If you don't have the glitter and glow like I said go ahead and get yourself a shimmer and there you have it. Okay so let's finish the rest of the makeup. Do the lower lash line and that is all she wrote, okay? So be right back. Okay, hey guys, I'm back. Okay, so we're gonna do the lower lash line. You know, I should always say don't speak too soon when you say things are a hot mess because once you clean everything up, wipe all the glitter fallout away, it all comes together in the end. So we're gonna move forward now and we're gonna do the lower lash line, okay? So this is real simple. Obviously, you guys can see this is a real smoky look and um, it looks intimidating but it's really not just remember three shadows you got your two crease shades you got your transition increase and you got your crease shade and then you got your shimmer on the lid this is probably one of the easiest eye looks you're ever going to do in your entire life i swear to you i swear to you okay now take that elf flat definer brush it's that brush that has that nice squared off tip it's very slender okay very slender and then you're going to take it in the black but be very very careful i i was heavy handed with the black on the crease and i'm like who it took me a while to get to get that look in the way I wanted it to. Okay, so we're just gonna run that along our lower lash line. Okay, obviously I have both eyes undone now. So we're gonna run that along your lower lash line. Push it right up against there. 
okay? Don't, don't smudge it too much because honestly, it's black and you really need to be careful with black. So this was not the look that I intended to do for my first video um, in the May series, but it's what we went with. I had intended uh, I had intended to, you, know, you guys will have already seen the $5 Friday video for um, from yesterday. But I had intended to wear one of the lip colors that I showed in the $5 Friday, which is one of the e.l.f. matte lip colors, and it and this look got out of control, so I had to pick something else, obviously. So, whoa, you'll see in a second. So, just remember, take that, pushing it up against the lower lash line. Now, we're not going to smudge it too much because we don't want it to get out of control. So, hang on one second. Let me find my Eco Tools. It is not a real Techniques brush. Somebody pointed that out to me in the comments, and I'm just like, oh, thank you. Yes, it is definitely Eco Tools. Let me get my Eco Tools brush. Okay, here's my dual ended Eco Tools brush. It's got that little um, blendy side, which is not good, but it's got the smudger side. This is available in a duo with another brush. I think I showed you guys that brush. Now I gotta find that brush. Okay, this is that Eco Tools brush that I was telling you guys about. The one with the little smudgy end, and then uh, the little uh, blendy side on the other. This one, this side is no, it's no bueno. But it comes in a set with this brush. It's also dual ended and has a, a slanted side um, on the other side, and it has kind of a lid brush. I hate brushes like this, but anyway, this comes in a set. It's affordable. I only use this smudgy end, only one. Okay, so. I don't want to use the fluffy brush, the crease brush, to blend this, blend this out because it is black and we don't want it to get out of control. We don't want it to get all over the place. So just run that smudger brush along. Troy's computer's going nuts. I hear it in the background. Ding! That's so funny when people say, oh, I can hear, can you guys hear that? Just ignore it. Well, well guess what? No one can hear it but you. I can guarantee you that. The crazy kids that are next door, nobody can hear that except me. So, anyway, it is annoying though. Okay, that's it, guys. Maybe put a, um, a like a nude liner in the waterline, or if you want to be really daring, you can put a black, but I ain't going to do that because I have small eyes. I don't ever put black in my waterline. Okay, so I'm just going to put on some mascara real quick, maybe something in my lower lash line, and then we will do the lip. Okay, guys, we're going to use a ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Strip, okay? Anytime I do an eye look like this, I'd intended to use that Red Vixen shade, then no, it's not going to look good with this. So we're going to go with Strip, and I absolutely love this um, lip color, okay? It's beautiful. I love the formula of these, but the, I always go for a kind of a nude, like a traditional kind of a really brown nude lip with eyes like this, okay? So... Okay, guys, I fibbed. That isn't stripped. This is point zero by ColourPop. It's an ultra satin lip. This is a Kathleen Lights color. Uh, ColourPop is famous for collaborating with Kathleen Lights, but this is point zero. This is also kind of a brown nude. It's a deeper brown nude. This is not a peachy brown nude, which is what I was going for, but that's okay. This works too. It works just fine. And I forgot to blend that foundation around my lips a little bit, so it look a little janky. That's okay. So, guys, here we have it. This is the first look in the Kiss series for May. Yes, it looks freaky. Yes, it looks freaky. Don't freak out. It's not as freaky as you think. Once you get it on, you work in that crease, and then you clean it up, do everything else. It'll look spectacular. I promise you. I promise you. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yes, I was a little long-winded. So sorry. I know. I get a little carried away. You guys know this about me already. Yeah. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Those three things, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I will see you guys next time. Take care. Have a good one.